Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Today's video, we got another small Maple Lane job, uh, four pieces in total, so it's not, a, not very big. The material is going to be Peak, uh, which is a very expensive and implantable plastic. Um, little L-shaped clamps. I'm not really sure what the customer uses them for, but it has to do with uh, donor tissue. Um, so it's real simple. We're going to square up the stock. We're going to cut a, um, a little radius edge, uh, a hole, and a slot. So let's get started and I'll show you the process. So here's our part. It's real simple. Um, started off with some peak stock. You can see my bandsaw cuts real straight, right? Lovely. Anyway, here's our small little piece. We got four of these guys to make. I got some stock cut up. One extra in case we mess up. And if we don't mess up, it goes into the resume. So there we go. Let's start. So we're putting a small parallel in. I have my wire. I have it bent so it just kind of hangs on the jaw. And what we're going to do is we're going to face, we're going to square it up, obviously, and we're going to face the uh, the biggest the biggest face. I got my big shell mill loaded up. It's a high speed steel. It's ridiculously sharp, and it is going to go through this plastic like no one's business. Now this right here is an inch thick. Um, I have to bring this down to um, three quarters of an inch, so I have to take quarter inch off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually drop the knee down a little bit. <clears throat> so I touched off and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up an eighth of an inch which is splitting the difference of the quarter that I have to take off. And uh, you can't see the DRO but trust me when I say I'm moving it up 125 thousandths. All right, we're going to uh, give this a shot now. get the other. So I'm putting my faced edge against my fixed jaw, locking it down. This is a hun um, this is one and a half inches wide and it needs to be one inch wide. So I'm taking the first cut of 400,000. So it's a very deep cut. Uh, the next one will be 100 thousandths as my uh, as my finish cut. Right. Nice 90 degree squared edge. We now have a 90 established. So the large face goes against our fixed jaw. I'm gonna lock it down. I've dialed in how much needs to come off to bring it to one inch. 1,000th one big, no problem. We got 10,000th tolerance. Also wanted to just show how we just, we debar it when it comes off. That's, that's gonna be the, the last side to get milled. We're doing the last face now. I dialed in how much we need to bring this down to three quarters, and here we go. Let's see if we hit our mark. Half a thou in plastic, not bad. Again, tolerances are 10,000, so we're, we are uh, good as can be. I didn't film it, but I squared up each side over here now. And what I want to do is I definitely, I want to make sure that I have all these deburred. So they sit around, sit onto the stop in the same position. And we're trimming these guys now to final length. Perfect. All right, we need to drill a hole through these pieces now, and we gotta come over uh, three eighths, and then, so the datum is at three eighths and an inch and 30 thousandths. I've mounted, I mounted a piece in there and I picked up the edge off this back edge here. So we're gonna do our 375 this way. Picked up the edge over here, so we'll do our one inch 30 thousandths that way. 
as shown on the DRO. The hole we're drilling is 377,000, so that's a, I believe it's a V drill if I remember correctly. Nice and easy. Looks good. Three more to go. Now we come back down to full depth, which is very, very close to the vise. You can see it's fragmenting a little bit, but it clears up right when you get to the, uh, to the end of the cut because the geometry changes and doesn't lend itself to the chipping. Now, a lot of thought went into how to approach this cut. I mean, not a lot of thought, but some thought, right? Because you gotta watch the way, the way the, uh, this is a big shell mill and the way the, the, the flutes are coming around, you know, as, as they're coming this way, they're chipping out this way, but as you get closer through the cut, the way they come through, they're actually cutting in then at that point. So let's go give this thing a measurement now. As we can see here, the edge of this slot is datumed off the center of the hole. Uh, this is a 377 hole, so half of that is 188.5, right? So 188.5. Um, and then the 470 minus the 188.5 gives us 281, I think, and a half. Yeah, 281 and a half. So what I did was got my gauge pins, put my gauge pin through here. Okay, so it's already dataming now because it, it, it fits. I mean, you could see it fits perfect. Um, so we have the, the 188.5 to here, and then from here to this edge, like we said, is the 281. I got my 280, 282 gauge pin, if you can see that, 282, but it actually measures out 281.5, and it slips in with no movement, so it's perfect fit. Good way of measuring it. Um, whatever the application is for that, it definitely calls for, you know, that tight tolerance. You can see the tolerance right there. You know, they'll give you 5,000 uh, slot, but it can't be any, any smaller. Now the last operation is to put a quarter inch radius on these corners here. I've, uh, I've set up the quarter inch radius and here we go. <clears throat> Beautiful. Well, that's it for this one. Another job in the can. We're gonna get the pieces out to the, uh, to the laser etcher. They become serialized and we'll ship them out to the customer. Um, stay tuned. I have a whole video series coming up on the new lathe that I bought. Um, the South Bend Heavy 10 has been sold and uh, the, the buyer came and picked it up this past weekend. Um, I'll miss it. it. It should be part of the As the Lathe Turns uh, video series, but She's gone, and uh, what I bought is a Precision Matthews 16 by 40 gearhead lathe. It's the Ultra Precision Big Mama. It weighs a lot, and it's a very, very capable and big, beefy machine. So I am super, super excited to, uh, to get my hands on that and start using it. I'm going to have a whole video series. Everything from the delivery to the cleaning of it, the initial cleaning, the leveling, the, the, you know, I mean, the uncrating. Um, it's going to be a real thorough and in-depth video series, and I'm very, very excited to, uh, to film them and, and share them with everybody. So uh, until that time, until the next one, thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next video.